All right, guys, so in this one, I always want you to think of X and Y, as I said in class, X over Y. And what this is asking you is, are X and Y proportional? And basically, for them to be proportional, they all have to have the same distance. Or for example, X times, let's say, 2 has to equal Y, but that has to be the same throughout um, all of your um, rows. So to determine the first one, we're going to put x is negative 4. So we are going to say x is negative 4 and y is negative 5. Okay. And let's see what is the relationship between x and y. So this means negative 4 divided by 5. Well, a negative divided by a negative we know is a positive. So you know your answer is going to be a positive. Well, what is 4 divided by 5? Well, let's see. Remember what I told you? You bring this down. Put a decimal at the end. Push it up. Add a couple of zeros for a guide. And say to yourself, does 5 go into 4? No. So you know you're not going to start there. Does 5 go into 40? Yes. So your first digit is going to be in the tenths place. So 5 goes into 40 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. 0, you're done. So the relationship between 4 and 5 is 0.8. Okay, so basically 4, negative 4 times 0.8 is going to give you negative 5. Well, let's see about this one, if it's the same thing. Now, in order for this to be proportional, it should be the same. If you multiply 0.8 times 3, it should be negative 6. I could already tell you that um, I don't think it's going to be proportional, but let's see. Let's do one more. Negative 3, negative 6, x and y. Let's see if this one is going to give me 0.8. Well, a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. So let's see. 3 divided by 6. Push this up. Add a 0 for a guide. The 6 going to 3, no. The 6 going to 30, yes. 5 times. 5 times 6 is 30. So this one is 0.5. So I already know, I don't even have to continue. I already know that no, this is not proportional, okay? Let's go to, um, let's go to number three. And then I want you to do number two on your own, but let's go to number three because I, I can already tell that this is proportional uh, without even having to do that. And I'm gonna tell you why I know that. First, you kind of start looking at it. You say, what is the relationship x times what equals y? Or you could even say x divided by what is going to equal 10, negative 10. Well, I already know um, negative 70 divided by negative 7, I mean, actually positive 7 is going to equal negative 10, okay? Okay because a negative and a positive is going to equal a negative, and 70 divided by 7 is going to give me 10. But I mean, if you don't see that visually, let's do the same thing. So remember, x over y. So if x is negative 70 and y is negative 10, you know your answer is going to be a positive, right? Because a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. 70 divided by 10 is 7. If you don't see it, guys, don't worry. Do this. And say to yourself, how many times does 10 go into 7? No time. How many times does 10 go into 70? 7 times. 7 times 10 is 70. Okay, and you know it's 7. So x, in this case, is going to be divided. x divided by 70 is going to be 7. Okay, or y times. So my actual, my, my, it, this, this should be x divided by 7 equals negative 70. I just kind of want you to see how I write um, an equation. But anyway, so my answer is going to be 7, right? Let's try this one. So negative 56 over negative 8. You know the answer is going to be a positive. And 56 divided by 8, we know it's 7, okay? I'm not going to do that the long way. And then 7 here, negative 14 divided by negative 2. If you don't see it already, you could do this. Negative divided by negative, you know it's a positive. 14 divided by 2, you know it's 7. So I can already start seeing this is 7, 7, 7. So yes, this one is 
proportional, okay? Because they're all seven. So go ahead, this is basically what you're gonna do for this problem. Go ahead and let me know if these are proportional or not and do at least three of them, okay? Just to make sure. If you do two and you get the wrong answer, they're different, then it's probably not proportional, but it also could be that you made a mistake. That's why I want you to do like three of them and see if they don't have the same answer. If X divided by um, Y is not the same number on all of them, then you know it is not proportional, okay? All right, that's it for this one.